Hello viewers, welcome to Microchem's experiments. Chemical and reagent preparation is very important for any test to get the accurate test result. Today we are going to learn how to prepare and standardize 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution. This method involves 5 steps, chemical and reagent preparation, sodium thiosulfate solution preparation, potassium dichromate solution preparation, sodium thiosulfate solution standardization and calculation. Among the apparatus and chemicals, we need a burette with stand, conical flask, pipette with filler, measuring cylinder, concentrated hydrochloric acid, potassium dichromate, sodium thiosulfate, potassium iodide and starch. Let's start the preparation and standardization of sodium thiosulfate solution. At first, we will prepare chemical and reagent. For the preparation of 1% starch solution, take 50 ml distilled water in a beaker and boil on hot plate. Now take weight of 0.5 gram starch powder and transfer into the hot water. Boil the solution stirring with a glass rod periodically. Filter the solution when starch is dissolved in water completely. One percent starch solution is ready to use as an indicator. We can prepare 15% potassium iodide by dissolving 15 grams potassium iodide crystal into 100 ml distilled water. Now we will prepare the expected 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution. To do this, take 2.48 grams sodium thiosulfate crystal into 100 ml volumetric flask. Fill the flask with distilled water up to the mark. Swirl the flask to mix the solution. Label the flask as expected 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate. Now we will prepare potassium dichromate solution. Take a portion of potassium dichromate crystal in a glass dish. Dry the potassium dichromate crystals at 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After drying, cool the potassium dichromate in a desiccator.
take 0.16 to 0.22 gram of dried potassium dichromate crystal into a conical flask. Add 25 ml distilled water. Swirl the flask to dissolve the crystals completely. Now add 5 ml concentrated hydrochloric acid into the flask. Add 20 ml of 15% potassium iodide solution into the flask. Swirl the flask again and wait for 5 minutes. Add 100 ml distilled water and swirl the flask to mix the content properly. For the standardization, take a newly prepared sodium thiosulfate solution in a burette. Note the initial burette reading. Now titrate the potassium dichromate solution by liberating sodium thiosulfate solution from the burette. Carry out the titration until yellow color is almost disappeared. Pause the titration when yellow color is fade out. Now add 1 ml of 1% stirred solution into the flask and resume the titration. Stop the titration when the blue color is disappeared completely. Note the final burette reading. 
it's time for the calculation. We used 0.169 gram potassium dichromate crystal. That's why W is 0.169 gram. Volume of sodium thiosulfate solution used in the titration V is Final burette reading 35 minus initial reading 1 which is 34 ml. Now we have to find the actual molarity of the newly prepared sodium thiosulfate solution. By solving the equation, we get the actual molarity of the sodium thiosulfate solution is 0.101 molar. Let's correct the label of the flask containing sodium thiosulfate solution.